Welcome to part 21 of GTA 5, and we're gonna go on a long drive. Hmm. And Dwayne was so excited. No, no, sorry, Dwayne. I was just talking about Amazing Spider-Man 2, and that almost put me into a coma. Well, it's almost a Sunday, so we might as well go for a nice... I, I was gonna say quiet drive, but... Uh. I, thought, I thought it was the first Amazing Spider-Man film that puts you in the coma, Jover. No, 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 no. Amazing Spider-Man 1, now that I think about it, is boring compared to the Sam Raimi trilogy, but it's not nearly as bad as Amazing Spider-Man 2, which can put you into a coma if you aren't properly com prepared. Yeah, that's, that's my issue, though. I mean, I've, I've seen the film twice, and I still don't think it's terrible. What, Amazing Spider-Man 2? Yeah. The movie that you constantly make fun of? Yeah, but Joe, just because I make fun of a movie doesn't automatically mean I hate it. Oh, I know that, I know that. I mean, I'm just surprised I... Oh, yeah. well, okay, I enjoy, okay. I, okay. Yes, a... audience, I enjoy Amazing Spider-Man 2. Bite me. Eh, yeah. honestly, Dave, that's me. not even really that much of a surprise. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, it's like, well, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is a mess. I won't deny that it's enjoyable, of course. I just regard it as a mess. Although that does kind of make it a bit more entertaining than the first Amazing Spider-Man film for me. It's a mess that kind of condemned its franchise. And, well, in the long run, you have to remember that, you know, what may be a guilty pleasure can very well be what sinks a franchise. I still don't understand why people consider it, like, worst superhero film ever material or anything. I mean, is it... Whoa, 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 uh, the, to say that uh -huh. to, to say that Amazing Spider-Man Two is worse than Spider-Man Three is moronic. I'm sorry. No, it's not actually. Yes, it is. People can have legitimate reasons for that. No, they can't. I guess what well, really? could be that That's, Sony didn't actually they can play jokes. No, they can't. If you like, I could list off the reasons can off screen because this debate I'd rather in not. The actual movie commentary. The, the, yeah. They can have the they can have their arguments. There will be dumb. There will just be dumb arguments. Really? So that's all you have to say to rebut against uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2? Look, come on. I mean, look, um, at least Spider-Man 3 actually had a plot through the full way through. Um, Joe, at least mean, it didn't... Joe, you mean plots? Spider-Man yeah, 3? Yeah, plots. Spider-Man 3 didn't make... Uh, uh, Spider-Man 3 actually... Uh, look, at, at the, here's, here's the interesting thing, uh, Jova. At least... In, really? In, in, okay, amazing, go on. At least in the Amazing Spider-Man films, uh, cared, uh, we didn't have uh, uh, bullshit uh, characters uh, doing things uh, just for the sake of the plot. Uh, actually, we did. Need we say anything more about Amazing Spider-Man 2 where, oh, hey, I have my blood that could very well cure you or kill you. However, even though you're going to die either way, I just feel content to say, nah, no go. Yeah, but do remember what happened the last time he gave someone blood? Mm -hmm. He turned yeah. into a freaking lizard. Not to That's mention, not my issue. and then he destroyed all of New York City. Yeah, so here's my issue, though. He never tells the guy why. You know what? He, you know what also doesn't happen with as much as that. You know what also doesn't yeah. happen in the Amazing Spider-Man films? Peter doesn't dance. So, at least in hey, at least in Sam Raimi trilogies, Peter doesn't leave his name on his camera where it could easily get snatched. And also, Peter isn't quite the stupid jock. And also, Peter doesn't have to look up on YouTube of all things how to make his web sh shooters. And at least in the Sam Raimi trilogy, we actually see Peter doing some freaking college stuff and actually being worth that all those doctorates yeah, he gets. I mean, seriously, what? seconds I mean, of it. Um, no, 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 no. Actually, we get a good look at that in Spider-Man 2. I mean, seriously, how much of Peter's supposed braininess do we actually see in the Amazing Spider-Man movies? He made the fucking web shooters. What, what else do you want? He had to use YouTube yeah, do you to want make him the to, web Do you want shooters. him to solve world peace or something like that? Seriously, though, Peter invented the web shooters, and he has to look up on YouTube how to make well, them. Well, lots of people have to look up stuff somewhere to build something. Yes, Joba. But it's not Peter. Every, he's it's, the one... not, it's not. He's, he's only. How old is he at that point? I, well, whatever. He's, he's not, it's not like he's, he's an experienced professional or anything. So it's whose still brains are we blowing out from. today? But he's a smart scientist of a kid who actually was able to cross reference and create the web shooters in pretty much every other continuity except for the Sam Raimi trilogy. And even still, that was actually based off of a comic arc where he, where he had the web shooting powers. 
I mean, seriously, Amazing Spider-Man really dials Whoa. down on Pete's intelligence, and that annoys me. Nelson in Naples. <laughs> I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Anywho, back to this so, uh, game. Ah, uh, yes, quoting movies. <laughs> Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. But yeah, audience, if you want to if you want to know more about our thoughts on every Spider-Man movie, join us for our eventual commentaries on Whatever, Spider-Man 3 is still the worst Spider-Man film by far. I will say this, audience, while I disagree with Pedro's notion, I will say that I do not think that Amazing Spider-Man 2 is anywhere close to being the worst superhero film ever. Anyone who claims that is either Dumb. inexperienced in the field... Either inexperienced in the field of movies, or rather ignorant, or maybe dumb. There are several possibilities. Or all of the above. Nah, that too. Okay, so this bit's I think I think this bit's a side quest. I don't think you have to do it, or, or do you? Oh no, wait, you do. Yeah, sorry, God, my, my mind's full of fuck. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic. Battle between two yuppies. Lots of training months. Yuppies? <laughs> so what's the problem? Milton McElroy. Oh, boy. Second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Hmm. Well, he's got this Jai Courtney? Marco <laughs> Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating. Josh Trey? So now... He's holding up shooting until he's paid. <laughs> That's hey, Jai Courtney and Josh Trank. If the director wanted to shoot, Anton Bodley. Ah, oh, so this is what it was yeah, like. Hey, hey, it's a, it's a, hey, the, yeah. a yeah. they're bringing the director the mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So this <laughs> explains part of that behind the scenes like controversy with Fan Four Stick. It was even worse than we thought. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is someone trying to shoot him through the window? No. That Unfortunately, to say Hitman. Right. So if we're Hitman, yes. So we we'll just <laughs> explain the random window shops. Alright. Alright, let's go. You put your park so crookedly. Well, it doesn't really matter in GTA how you park. True. Okay. That's the joke, Libs. Alright, so 2.7. Yeah, that's the problem. But the quality here is a bit odd, so I can't really read how long we've got to go. <laughs> this is at this point. You know, sometimes when I was re sometimes when I record um, on high quality, um, um, it sometimes tends the video kind of tends to get very warped. Huh. Weird. I guess you're sort of straining the Elgato, perhaps. Either that, or I'm just. Get, I think I might, I might think I might be getting used to this new laptop at this point. <laughs> Odd. Guess that's one virtue to not having to do with Elgato for the most part. Though when I give to have Elgato, so I could at least record more Wii U stuff more easily. Oh, by the way, what's that noise I'm hearing in the background? Uh, they're shooting the new fan Troy and they're shooting the new Fantastic Four film over here. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was that big of a car crash, but I'm tish. You have no idea. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> How dare you expect me not to crash into you? <laughs> You entitled piece of shit. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Well, well, what wow. Uh, Michael's been taking lessons from Jib and Yan about the near miss industry. Yeah. Great <laughs> job, kid. I was what running a. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and he failed. And he got banished from said industry. Jib and Yan would be cross. What is she like? Hmm? What is she like since you're the cat specialist? Would he what? Would Jibanyan get cross at Michael for failing in the near miss industry? I guess. Okay, so this mission is a sneaky mission. If you get caught, mm. then you fail. And I don't believe I have to do any editing for this part. Awesome. Really? You actually did well on a stealth mission? In one go. Well, well dear, there's only one mission. If I had to do an entire stealth game, I'd probably piss myself. So you would... So what you're saying is that Metal Gear is your video game phobia. 
any stealth game really is my phobia. No, no, no. I mean Metal Gear, though. Metal Gear is, well... That's okay. I'll be doing those games anyway. <clears throat> Reach the helipad without alerting Rocco. Okay, so, Michael, let's get all Solid Snake on this shit. I don't see a radar, though. Whoa, Michael, did you just knock over an entire crane by just moving into it? And no one hit Oh, 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 you gave me an idea, boss. Okay. Michael, quick. The way you do this, you have to be very careful. If people see you on the roof, you're dead. Over and out. Hmm. <laughs> a pound brand of X. X? Wait, Brand X? Oh, so that's what Brand X from Food Fight was. Yes. Why not? <sighs> Let's go with that. Let's not bring GT into that shit. You do know we're gonna have to comment it on eventually. <laughs> I kicked him. I kicked him. <laughs> I kicked him and his head hit the thing. <laughs> I love accident or knockouts like that. <laughs> Neat. Okay, so, so which way do we go? Let's go up this way. Stop! Oh, shit! 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 Oh. Um. Hello, I'm over here. How oh, did you not see me? Uh, you know what? Whatever. Never mind. Let's go another way. You guys there? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oops, shit. Well, excuse me, you can't be here, dude. The wow, for once, a nice guy. Yeah. Well, we don't know that. Disaster. Well, Joe, for all we know, he has a very dark uh, past or something like. Uh... Yeah, they should make a spin-off game. I know, game I know. To him. I know, Pedro, but he actually had the decency to say, "Excuse me." <laughs> that yeah. that. Which yeah, of course, yeah, I mean, that's extremely what, what, polite compared to the majority of this game's population. Which of course means he has to die. Oh, who's this? No, no, it looked like we just knocked him out. I usually kill him. Well, thankfully, Dwibs is. Oh my god, surprisingly, Dwibs is the more tame or one for ones. <laughs> oh, a boss fight. Yeah, a punching fight. Ah, yes, I remember these from L.A. Noir. Wow, he is not offering any fight back whatsoever. Yeah. Mm. Oh, one that, thing then. That was easy. Uh, is, is she already there? Yes. Let's get okay. back to the line. Just not much to say, that's all. Okay, um, I do admit I do fuck up this part. <laughs> oh boy. I'll, sh I'll tell you what you have to do in a bit. <laughs> okay, do you remember my shit helicopter flying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, here you're supposed to be flying shit. Huh, how hard could it be? I get a bit carried away. <laughs> how do you get carried away flying a helicopter, by the erratically. way? Erratically. Jim Tish. Yeah, I'm supposed to be fly I'm supposed to fly erratically, which I do. <laughs> so you're getting someone's attention. Mm-hmm. But as like I said, I do get a bit carried away. And then the other helicopter crashed and Michael died. He's out of <laughs> <laughs> Come on guys, let's take a ride on Michael's helicopter. It'll be fun. Oh yeah. I wanna get off Mr. Michael's wild ride. Too late, you're already up in the air.
And then Jova threw up everywhere. <laughs> I should be fine. I don't get motion sick that easily. <laughs> Do you get sick about me flying into a building? Yeah, I mean, this is whipped it depends. in a helicopter. Uh, it, may... it depends on whether or not we crash. Crashing would be bad for my health, in which case I'm just going to evacuate right now. Goodbye! Full distance is fantastic, AL. <laughs> I knew I knew that escape parachute would come in handy. You jinxed, Good luck, Twibs! You, you, you jinxed it, Shiroi. Thank you, Jova. Hashtag thanks, Shiroi. Hey, how's it my fault? You said it. You jinxed it. I wasn't talking oh, about crashing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking about the draw distance. Well, Tiori, do not ever compliment anything while I'm doing well on a mission. Otherwise... Okay. Um... Shiro, Shiro, remember, remember what happened in Rise of Lyric. You do remember what happened there, right? Ah, come on. Oh, come on. Well some, well, some good things happened when she said good things about Ace Attorney while we were playing that. Yeah, but that's the thing, Joe. But that game uh, is a visual novel. It's much, that visuals in the glitches in the visual novel. That doesn't really... Or even failures. Or even big oh, failures. Oh, Pedro. Oh, Pedro. If you could see that video where someone manages to glitch out Ace Attorney. Really? You can't even... Yeah. So let's do the whole flying erratically thing differently. So what you're telling me is that developers <laughs> nowadays can't even make a visual novel that, without glitches? Well, let's remember, Pedro, Ace Attorney is technically not a visual novel. It's actually a hybrid of many different genres and started its own genre. Mm. That being adventure games. Uh, adventure games were a thing... Since King's Quest. Yeah. No, no, no. King's Quest is point and click adventure. Ace Attorney is adventure in general. It's where it combines uh, pointing and clicking, visual novels, as well as some new stuff as well. Hey guys, how are, we, how are you enjoying Michael's Airways? Not to mention the fact that Ace Attorney also has game overs as opposed to most uh, visual Jova. novels. Jova! If I don't hear you say anything about enjoying Michael Airways, I might do something regarding a helicopter in the building. <laughs> Go ahead, make my day. I'll call your bluff. Need a sick back, Mr. Hexion. <laughs> Please, I've gone on much wilder rides. Mighty Number no. Nine's Kickstarter funding, to be precise. You. Now that is a sick ride. Now that was gross. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the studio now. We scared him good. Well, Breaker, Breaker, uh, Breaker Breaker 9 1, this is Rubber Duck calling in. You are clear to land. Seriously, I wonder if this is like a representation of the recent trend in bland actors that somehow get praise. Surprisingly, M. Night Shyamalan actually kind of made fun of that properly in The Visit. Oh, have you seen The Visit now? Yeah. Did you like it? Did you like it? Yeah, surprisingly. Don't. Ow. Oh boy, my helicopter's about to explode. Don't worry, Jova. Um, well, now that you've seen it, you can go check our impressions video because we were just as baffled as you were. Yeah, I, did, I actually did just recently check that out. I still, I still, I st uh, like I said to Dwebs in the impressions video, I still can't believe he actually wrote the dialogue. There's no way. <laughs> but he's actually credited as the writer. My god. He actually pulled off a twist that was... I get, the feel I get the feeling most of the stuff was improvised by the actors. Ah, uh, well, all the same, I'll give him the credit for this one. Lord knows he needs every merit he can get these days. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather not talk about Movie Bob's review of the visit. That review was cringeworthy. Well, he has been overdoing the swearing a lot. Honestly, I honestly I think uh, honestly, movie Bob is the kind of reviewer who it seems like he takes pleasure in hitting movies or something. Like he's so negative. Eh. He used to actually be rather positive. I like, know, I know. He's like, eh. yeah, like I've... yeah. He used to actually be more rounded, from what I've heard, and from what I've seen of his earlier reviews, like stuff like Jurassic World and Ant Man. It's a kind of. Thing. It's, it's, it's a kind of... To be... Oh, 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 oh got some. Story is the best kind of art. 
A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross. <laughs> you will oh, that's <laughs> one way to get actors into the role, I guess. Uh, awesome. Here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any... Oh my god. So this is the president of Fox. This is how they forced everyone to stay in fan four stick. They threatened them. I wonder if they I wonder if I, Okay, Jim, I got a theory. Yeah. The only reason Kate Mara did that movie was just so she could be in the Martian. <laughs> oh, she was in the Martian? Yeah. Is the Martian a Fox film? Yeah. Huh. I guess Fox isn't completely up the river without a paddle this year. Yeah it's, yeah, it's like Fox Marvel films. When they're good, they're, they're actually some of the best. But when oh, they're bad, they're, they're, they're good. But when they're bad, they're ugh. Yeah. Basically, Dwibs, the problem isn't just that. It's Fox in general has been a very controversial company. I mean, seriously, even their news station. And that's just the news station. I mean, their film companies are questionable, especially with decisions that they've made but we'll talk more about that in another in another video but oh boy was that a brutal way of getting actors back in the role we just saw see everybody yeah that's a helicopter and we respawn and we need to do the same thing again so there is some part 22 see you then <laughs> all right